All right, so here we are. In this video, I'm going to show you, um, in this video, we'll talk about our tool here, our IDE, Integrated Development Tool. Of course, there's a lot of things here that we would have to learn, but, uh, uh, and it will take a long time. Okay, uh, but the idea here is just to get you started. At least you 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 should have some a better understanding of what we're doing and what this tool does and uh, the main components or the main functions that we will be using the most. You know, so once you have opened the project, this is what you should be seeing. Okay, so you will see this toolbar at the top with a lot of buttons. But don't worry. Uh, of course, this one here, if you hover over. It will say to save all okay so that's save all button and most of these are uh, very self-explanatory okay but one of the tools that we will be using all the time will be the play uh, or run app tool if we connect it to the emulator then it will run our app on the emulator okay just like this here you can see that's what's going to happen and the next one which is a newer item uh, is this you hover over says apply changes okay what this does is very simple if we are coding and uh, we run our application and then we decided we need to change something real quick instead of going back and rebuild everything again in this case instead of going back and run we can just click on this one and then it will update your code right away instead of you having to run everything from the from the ground up again okay so it's a very important tool Okay, and then we have this one here, which is for debugging. So when, once we start building our application, we will need a way to uh, look for errors and make sure our app runs accordingly. Okay, and that's when we use this debugging tool, and we will talk more about it. Of course, we have here our stop. So this will stop our app from running. Now, going down here, we'll see then to the left, if you click on this, it will hide our project files, right? Click that to hide and this to open again. So once we have our project panel here opened and we can resize it as well, you can see here, okay? And the other way you can, if you wanna hide it, you can just click on this little uh, hide icon here, just click on that, that would hide. So same difference, same thing, essentially you can just click here or if you want, you can just go ahead and, and click on this button here to hide our panel here, okay, structure. And so inside here, the first thing we'll see, it's gonna be this app folder and the Gradle scripts. We don't need to worry about Gradle for now, okay, but we need to concentrate on the app folder. So click on that, this will open. So the first thing we'll see is the manifests, okay? This folder here has our Android manifest file, which we will talk about at a later time what an Android manifest file is. is. And in the next folder, you will see it says Java. You click on that to open up, and you will see this got three subfolders inside, okay? We're very interested in our first one here, which is where our Java main activity code is, which is what we have opened right now here, okay? And as our applications evolve and grow, this is where we will put all of our activities or our Java code. Next one, that's where we will put our test code, how to test our applications. And we'll talk more about that. And so is our next one, the third one as well. Okay, but the most important one for now is this one here. Okay, the first folder under our Java. Okay, and you notice also all of them have this package name here that we created earlier. And then next, after our Java, we have the res folder. The res folder, it's where we will pull, put all of our images, our layouts, and, and many, many other things that are resources that our applications need, okay? Because every application needs some sort of resources, resources such as images or audio or videos or whatever we are using to show in our application, this is where we put. So drawables, it's same as saying images, okay? Or or themes and, and many other things that we'll be talking about, okay? But the, one of the most important one also is the layout. Now, the layout is where we have our layout, our user interface, okay? So if you look, look back at our, at our first application that I showed you here, this is what a layout is. It's a screen, right? This is what you're seeing. So all of this is actually being 
uh, rendered from our layout activity underscore main.xml. We'll talk more about what this all means. But for now, at least I want you to understand that this is where our layouts live. Okay. So layouts, everything that we are able to show in our screen, that would be a layout. All right, and of course we have this MIP map. This is where we will put our launcher icons, okay? And many other things we'll talk more about later, okay? So for instance, what, in a, what is this launcher icon? A launcher icon is essentially this, okay? This little image that users will see once they install your app and they can click on it to show your application, okay? And then we have this values folder. This values folder, that's where we have, where we can put our colors. We'll talk more about it later. Our colors that will be used to design our application, to make our application more alive and strings. This is where we're gonna put our texts, okay? And we'll talk more about it. And styles, of course, because we can actually style our applications so that the entire application has the same look. So to be very consistent. Okay, so this is what you have here. And again, remember that we will, as we learn more about Android development, we will obviously uh, touch more on each of these items so you have a better, better understanding. Okay, for now, I'm just showing you around. And of course, you will see right here, this is where we have our main editor. Okay, this is where we edit our text, our code per se. Okay, so you notice if you click on any of these, so double click, that will take you to that file. And you see everything is shown here, which means you can then start editing. Okay, adding your code and all of that stuff. Now, the other thing you will notice that we have here at the bottom a lot of different things. Okay, one of the things you will see all the time once we run our application. Is that okay? And of course, we also get some messages here if you click on this little tab that tells you that build was successful, the time it took to build and all of that stuff. And we will we'll see more and more, okay? And here we have the Android monitor. So this monitors everything that's happening on your emulator, on your Android device in this case, okay? It tells you a lot of information. We will be using this a lot because this is, this is what uh, it's happening internally while we when we run our application and don't get intimidated like i said we will go through all of this as we keep building applications and soon enough this will be second nature to you no problem all right so this should have been a better a very quick introduction to this ide our android studio here and it's always changing uh, because google is very adamant when it comes to making updates and um, making this tool better and better. Years ago, this tool wasn't as cool as it is today, which is a blessing, which is a wonderful thing. Okay, so in next video, we will continue uh, looking around this tool so that we have a better understanding of our tool that we're gonna be using for all of our development here. All right, so I'll see you in a bit.